Welcome back to Sydney Harbour as we get ready to welcome Jessica Watson after her solo circumnavigation of the globe. And we have some good news and bad news. The bad news is Jess is running a little late because of the conditions. As, as most good women do run late <laughs> for, for a big event. Well, we, we might be able to find out exactly why she's running late. It could it be cosmetic or could it be simply the weather? Because this is the good news. We're about to talk to Jessica right now on board Ella's Pink Lady. Jess, it's wonderful to have you with us. It must be really peaking, the excitement right now. It is, it's just uh, all building up. So uh, I've got, you know, a fleet of boats around me and more and more boats joining us. So it's uh, definitely getting exciting. Now, Jess, did you, ma did you manage to get any sleep last night? Are you refreshed for your big homecoming? Because I think you're going to be quite surprised by the turnout. Uh, no, I managed a couple of hours sleep, but uh, I think I'm running on excitement. So uh, I've got plenty of energy. So, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, just uh, take a few deep breaths before I get in. Now, Jess, for, I know a lot of support out there in the yachting community, so for their sake, give us an idea. You were running and reaching, I'd imagine, overnight, uh, and then now you're beating your way back down. So you're tacking a lot. What's going on? Uh, basically, what happens, yeah, that strong uh, south suddenly uh, come through uh, the last couple of days, and it's quite a bit stronger than we thought the last couple of days. So I got blown actually north of Sydney a little bit, and uh, and the moment I'm actually beating my way back southeast, uh, southwest, sorry, into the wind and to Sydney Harbour. Uh, it won't be long enough. Now, Jess, we can see live pictures of you here, and tell me that I'm seeing what I'm seeing. I can actually believe you're wearing shorts. Sorry, what was that? You're wearing. Tell us. Tell us. It's not true. Are you really wearing shorts? Because it's cold where we are. I can't imagine what it's like for you out there. No, no, it's, it's lovely out here. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know. I've been maybe I've been working hard enough or something. But uh, yeah, no, it's great to be in shorts and a nice, nice sunny day. How much hard work has it been, Jess, in the last week? I, I know you would have hoped to sort of cool down a little bit, relax a bit more and get your head around what's going to take place now and indeed in the next couple of years. But uh, it, it's, it's been a bit of hard work for you, hasn't it? Boat maintenance as well as boat management. Yeah, I did have a couple of days off once I got around the bottom of Tassie, a nice, quiet, uh, yeah, quite a few days. But uh, since then we have that, you know, the strong, uh, the strong south east coming through and, and a few engine problems and a few other little problems that I've needed to sort out. But kept me busy. And then, of course, um, you know, the shipping picked up as I have got closer for, for the last fleet as we come in. Jess, you mentioned on your blog a few days ago about what you were going to miss out at sea. Um, one was going to be obviously the sailing every day, and um, you weren't going to miss being out of range from your brother, which I'm sure he'll have something to say to you about later. Is there anything else that you've, ad you've added to that list in the last 24 hours? I imagine it's been quite a special time for you out there. It has. It's uh, really been favouring it, and, uh, and even today it's just a perfect day sailing out here. So. I can't believe I'm, I'm heading in. She's just the sort of day she's heading out. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to getting in as well. And there's just so many things I'm going to miss about out here because it has been so long and I got so used to it uh, out here. So I'm just, yeah, it's going to be quite an adjustment, I think. While we're on that, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because there's a lot to do just today. But you have mentioned also that you want to keep sailing um, and, and you, you don't want this to be just a one-off thing. It's in your blood, isn't it? And there's going to be other adventures down the track after you get a little, a few other things attended to, like getting your driver's licence, etc., etc. Yeah, it's only great to have a few years off to be a bit more of a normal teenager, but after that I am uh, keen to do some more sailing, so I'm not really sure quite how or when, but uh, just sort of see how it goes in a, in a little while. Jess, a few of the other things that um, you've mentioned that you, you are looking forward to doing when you get, get home is having your hair washed and styled and eating some chocolate that hasn't <laughs> melted, then reset. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's absolutely tons of things I look forward to doing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to yeah, haircut and, and all that sort of good stuff. But I really, uh, more than anything, obviously, seeing everyone come first. But, uh, I just want to go for a walk on the beach. It's been so long since I've been able to stretch my legs, so looking forward to that. Anything special? I know you've had a couple of requests. I believe pavlova was mentioned, even a spicy chicken burrito. There's a, any other special things that you've got planned when you actually get into calmer waters and meet up with Jesse Martin and, of course, Mike Perham and, and your family? Yeah, no, it's going to get across that line. Uh, I'm going to be able to, you know, I can take stuff on board. I can accept assistance or whatever. So uh, I'm looking forward to some fresh fruit. 
fresh fruit, normal, normal sandwiches and crunchy salad and, uh, and who knows what else. So, yeah. Jess, you mentioned that you're looking forward to just being a normal teenager when you get back on dry land. Do you have any sort of understanding as to how much your life might change when you hit terra firma? No, I'm not I've been telling you that, so I'm just going to sort of try and prepare myself for it. But um, I do realise it's going to change and, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be it's interesting. But, I mean, I'm also, I'm sure I'm also going to have the time to do uh, normal things as well. So uh, we'll just see how it goes and uh, enjoy, enjoy whatever happens. Getting back to the mechanics, Jess, what was your last meal? The last thing you've eaten uh, on the boat. Yeah, it was a uh, easy food. Uh, what was it? Uh, chicken, uh, chicken curry sort of thing. So that was a uh, yeah. Oh, I'm porridge this morning, I suppose. So. And you've kept that. I don't, I don't feel too badly. I have got some good food out here, but I am starting to run out of the good stuff uh, now. I'm close to the end. Well, yeah, you've relied a lot, of course, on the packages that your mum's uh, provided for you. I believe you have plenty left over. You've got a good supply of fresh water as well. So. All that's been managed very well. You, you, you've had a good choice. You haven't been starved for anything. No, definitely. Uh, the planning, you know, the special food mum did an absolutely amazing job and, and water and everything worked out, you know, pretty much just perfect. So, yeah, a lot, a lot of thought went into it and, uh, and it, you know, it paid off. What about exercise? Now, we expect some wobbly legs when you get back yeah. on land, but you've had a lot of leg work to do on the boat as well. So I'd imagine you're still in pretty good shape. Keeping your balance on the boat is actually, you know, a big deal. I mean, if it's a rough day, all your energy just goes into hanging on and then and not falling over bruising yourself. And then, of course, um, some days, are, you know, some days you hardly touch. You don't have to do anything to boat sail yourself. And then other days you've got a lot of work to do. So I think, I think I'm uh, about pretty much uh, the same shape as I was when I left. Jess, are you concerned at all about your sea legs when you hit the ground here? So there's a lot of talk about sailors who go out to sea for a long time who come back and they've got jelly legs. I definitely I am worried about it, land legs, because, uh, yeah, I'm quite sorry for it every time I have, you know, come in from a short passage before I've been wobbly for a few days, so I'm, I'm expecting to be very, very wobbly when I get in. I think it's going to be quite amusing. Have you fixed the dunny yet, Jess? <laughs> I haven't actually. That's the one thing I haven't got to. Uh, it got rough the last uh, last few days, and I didn't get to it. So, no working dunny. But uh, you know, I'm almost fit. It doesn't really matter anymore. I was just about to say, I wouldn't worry about it now because you've been able to fix the fuel pump, you've yeah. been stitching sails, you've done a tremendous amount of, <clears throat> excuse me, maintenance work on the boat. So, I think you can rest on your laurels there. Yeah, it's just uh, wear and tear keeping up with it, and uh, and you can probably see the metal tail. Well, we'll be seeing it soon, but we've got you know a couple of these tears opened up again, so uh, it's, uh, it just keeps you on your toes after you've been at sea for so long. We hope we've relieved a little bit of the boredom, Jess. So you've certainly been a great relief to us here. We'll leave you alone now for a little while, let you get back to business, and we'll catch up again when you get back in the harbour. Thanks for your time, and have a great time while it lasts. We'll see you soon, Jess. Yeah, no problem. All right, we'll see you in the next.